Hello, it's Andy from Drakenstone, and in this video, we are going to make the purple pet jelly cube. I've got all six molds ready, and we got our mold release. So first step is you take your mold release and you kind of paint in all the nooks and crannies and make sure you get every single spot that's in the mold so that way the resin doesn't stick to the mold and comes out really easily. It's not gonna bond to the mold or anything. Okay, and so we got part A and part B and we measure them out. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, so that's pretty easy. In this particular video, I'm making um, Magic Craft um, resin. It's a clear tabletop or craft epoxy resin, and it's made in the USA. Okay, and as you can see, I put in the purple glow-in-the-dark powder, then you stir it up. The more glow-in-the-dark powder you put in, the more it's gonna glow in the dark and the more dark purple it's gonna look. But I just decided to put in a little ghosting of the powder. And so it's still gonna glow in the dark and it's still gonna look purple, but it's gonna be translucent and you'll be able to see through the jelly cube. It won't be completely opaque. Okay, and then what I do is I actually take the resin and I pour it into a second cup and stir it around again. That's just to ensure it gets thoroughly mixed. Then I pour it into a third cup, and then I thoroughly mix that, and then I pour it, you guessed it, a little bit into each cup. Okay, so the reason I'm putting a little bit in each cup is because the vacuum chamber is next. And if you put a full cup in there, it's gonna overflow in your vacuum chamber. So I put just a tiny bit at the bottom of each of four cups, and then you'll see, even if it's just a tiny bit of resin in each cup, it's gonna bubble all the way up to the top as the gases come out. Okay, so here I am turning on the pump and turning up the pressure, or turning down the pressure, actually. And you can see that they're gonna to start to rise. The bubbles are gonna come out. So there's gonna be no air in this chamber, and no bubbles in any of the resin, it's gonna be Crystal clear, totally clear. So you have to pump the air out a couple times. And I hit the release valve two or three times just to make sure that the cups don't overflow. But you can see as the bubbles start to pop, it actually sinks back down. And then all the air is released. Okay, this is where it's gonna sink down and all the air will be released and I leave it on there for about 15 minutes and then we're ready to pour. Okay, and so we've lined up all the molds. Then the first step is take about a quarter full for each mold. So take your resin and pour in uh, enough to fill each mold about a quarter of the way up. Not halfway, not all the way, just a little bit, just along the bottom. Because then I'm gonna grab a toothpick and I'm gonna go into each corner because with this stuff being not very viscous or being extremely viscous, one of the two, um, it's gonna trap an air bubble in the corner of each square. And so I release it with that toothpick so we don't get any uh, voids or any uh, missing corners. Okay, and then I kind of pour it along the sides. Uh, the resin like all along the top there and let it kind of flow into the mold this way I'm not trapping any air bubbles if I see an air bubble rising I'll pop it or brush it off to the side okay and then I put the lid on and then put a brick on top of each one and then it's important that you let it sit still for 24 hours let it be completely motionless don't try to move it around. I'm gonna overfill each one so it's gonna spill a little bit over the side, but that just ensures that there's not bubbles or voids. Okay, and then I put a brick on each one and voila. Okay, and then I came back the next day and this is what they look like after 24 hours. They're rock solid. There's a little bit of flashing along the bottom of each mold, but that's okay. Here's what they look like. There's just a little bit of flashing along the top that you can easily peel off with your fingers. 
and then your piece is finished. Well, I made six jelly cubes, and looks like I'll go make some more. Thanks for tuning in.